Good morning, everyone. Joel with One Great Vacation. It is January 1st, 2017. We're at Mission Tejas. This happens to be the mission in front of me. We are here for the first day hike. We got here a little bit early. The Mission San Francisco de los Tejas was founded near this marker May 24th, 1690. So it has been here a while. This is a replica of that mission. Very well preserved. Inside of the mission, not much here. You guys are about to take part in a really cool, what's uh, almost become a tradition now for state parks. I know some of your families have been hiking on the first day of the year before, you know, uh, state parks started doing it here in Texas, but you're actually going to be part of a nationwide campaign to get people outdoors. There's over what, 49 states in all participate in the first day hikes across the country. And with that in mind, uh, last year I think it was 50 something thousand people did over a hundred thousand miles of hiking in that one day if you add up all the people, number of miles they hiked, paddled, or bicycled that first day. So across our state there are many different uh, types of hikes taking place today, but none of them are going to be what this one is. They might try to hike in the forest, but they won't have our forest. We're so going to go into a unique area that you're going to see a really cool transition from the loblolly pine forest that predominantly dominates this area into more of a hardwood, hard bottom forest where you'll see palmettos, other plants. Then we'll come out to a little pocket prairie, which is we have one spot, it's a historic piece of ground. So it's gonna be just over a around almost a mile and a half. Uh, Did anybody have any questions before we begin this hike? Anybody have anything they're wanting to find along this hike? Anything you're hoping to obtain from this hike today? Sasquatch prints. The Sasquatch. <laughs> I heard you like birds a lot, so I'm looking forward to you pointing out. I do you love know. the birds. I apologize if we slow down at all on the hike just for my uh, my enthusiasm for birds. Just for and the trek begins. <laughs> We've grown from 118 acres to 661. Wow. We have a lot of plans for this, but it takes money and it takes time. Uh, but we have opened up what we're about to hike down as a hiking trail. This is going to be an official map come out in 2017 detailing this area with contour lines. We have a. As you're hiking along, if you look below your feet, you see all the sand. That sandy loam is what makes a great home for pine trees. Love sand. So we have a lot of that. Guys, up on the front here, Mr. Wyatt is asked that we play a round of the stump game. This is a game we did the other day on the hike. So, Wyatt, what does a stump do? It just sits, right? Doesn't do anything. So you don't have to sit, but I do ask that you pick your little spot. It could be right where you're at. It could spread out a little bit if you would like. But you pick your spot, and when I say begin, I'll do a countdown from three to begin. That's when we'll take and become stumps ourselves. Don't make any sounds. Don't move. We're going to be quiet. And during that time, I will count to as why it's proposed 60 in my head instead of the normal 30. <laughs> so we'll be a little ambitious. But during that time, I did a little trickery. Didn't I? You were enjoying it, I think. But during that 60 seconds I'm counting in my head, I want you guys just to take in the sights sounds and the smells of nature that's all around us. Use your senses. Still be Hopefully <laughs> it'll evoke memories maybe of the past. Maybe it'll remind you of why you came out here today. That's cool. You get a photograph of it? Let's talk to him. 
So yeah, you'll see a lot of these guys right here. So it makes me say that this didn't blow that far. <laughs> here, but we, this is uh, usually off a sycamore tree, it looks like. Some more ass things. <laughs> this pipe one. I found another pipe one. Yeah, that's a good find. That's but, a cool. I don't get any I'll put him back down there. What kind of animals will use this as habitat now? Oh man, <laughs> well, first thing, it's all the bugs. They're coming out of this new fresh open area. So with that, you'll find your possums, your raccoons, your armadillos over here non-stop, and all your forest and field mice will come over here. But most of them will use, use, make it as their home is more of a pit stop when they come by and check out. If anything, you'll probably find, you know, you'll find smaller things like your beetles, and larvae, and worms. And the colors come in lots of different forms. It does, right? Like a little bouquet? What is it? It's a tie. Texas Parks and Wildlife and Stephen F. Austin did some archaeological digs out here and they found evidence of the French trading beads they found here. Uh, oh, wow. One spearhead and they found evidence of where a Caddo family used to live here. Oh, wow. So not a large village like you might have had up at Caddo Mounds. In fact, these people would have been long after the Caddo um, were here. These were, they said the Hassanai people that lived up there. These were the Nebadachi that lived here, but it was a small family. So they have uh, archaeological proof of um, three little homes they had here. Um, so it's really interesting. And you look at it, this was everything they needed. You know, they, they would build out in the open. And they were farmers, so they would farm here. Inside that wood line over there is an awesome creek. We've come to the end of our hike. We're back where we started. We're right below the mission. It's been a great hike. Thanks again, Josh, for letting us do this, taking us on it, guiding us through it. We really do appreciate it.